G'day legends. 50 years ago in 1974, the Trident Audio CB9066 parametric EQ was first created. And now fast forward 50 years later, we can now access this now vintage piece of hardware in a very faithful recreation in plugin form, which is what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna dive into this plugin and we're gonna see exactly how this sounds and what we can get out of it. Okay, so this is the Trident Audio CB9066 parametric EQ. So this EQ is made up of five bands. We've got a high pass, a low band, a mid band, a high band, and we also have a low pass. A high pass starts at 100 hertz and goes to 400 hertz, and we have a variable slope from zero to 22 dB octave. And the low pass is sweepable between 15K and 4K. Our low band covers 60 hertz up to 700 hertz. The mid band covers 600 hertz up to 7K. And our high band covers 3.5K up to 14K. Up the top, we can set the Q of the EQ. So we can make it really surgical into a really narrow Q. We can really cut or highlight the specific frequencies. Or we can boost it out into a wider band and make it far more musical and less drastic. And each of these three EQ bands can be attenuated minus 16 dBs or they can be boosted up to plus 16 dBs. Okay, so let's put this EQ through its paces and see what we can do with it. First thing we're gonna do is put it on our mix bus. Pretty awesome difference right there. So we managed to clean up a bit of muddiness in the mix, but also add a little bit of presence and warmth by using that low pass filter at the end there. That really cleaned up kind of those really high frequencies, even though I boosted a bit of that air, then by rolling it off a little bit as well, just smoothed the track out and made it sound a little bit warmer, while overall it feels a lot more open now. So that's really cool, sounds really great. All right, so this is a really piano driven track. Let's see if we can tidy up the piano a little bit. So that sounds really cool with the low pass filter. You can get a really dark piano sound. Although for this track, I think a little bit of that brightness works well to make it cut through with all the drums. But that's a really cool way of making a piano track sound a lot darker and warmer. Let's hear this in the mix. If 
That sounds really nice in the mix now. It's a lot warmer, but also it's got a little bit of sparkle on the top end, which helps it cut through in a really nice way. Cool, I think we can use this on the drums just to make them sound a little bit nicer. just tightening up that mid-range a little bit, just taking away some of the muddiness and adding back some of the attack of the drums. That little boost around 2K, just adds some nice little smack to the drums and then just a small boost in the airy frequencies around 10K just to make the drums a little bit more exciting. What about those strings? They sound really nice, but they're kind of getting a little bit lost in the background of the mix. Let's see if we can use the CB9066 to bring them forward and to make them stand out a little bit better. So that's a massive difference, just highlighting a couple of frequencies to help the strings stand out in the mix and just be a bigger part of the picture. One thing I really like about the CB9066 is how even on a narrow cue, it still sounds pretty nice when you highlight certain frequencies. It doesn't sound too narrow and pokey, it still has a really nice musical sound about it. We've got a couple of instances of the CB9066 across our mix now. We've got it on the mix bus, we've got it on the drums, we've got it on piano, and we've got it on the strings. Let's see what happens when we bypass this off and on all of these instances and see what happens to the mix. That's a pretty big difference right there. And that's just with a couple of pretty small moves overall, but using the CB9066 made it really easy to find the problem frequencies, but also to boost and flatter certain frequencies within the mix, which as you can hear when we turn it off and on, um, the mix kind of just falls apart a little bit without it. It sounds kind of flat and boring and a little bit muddy. And when we turn it back on, it's a little bit more open, a bit more exciting, and you can hear things a little bit better. And what about on vocals? Well, here's a little setting that I've dialed in. So sleep in peace, dreamer, for the best is yet to come. When he's gonna call, wake up, sleeper, and you're gonna shine like the rising sun. So just adding a bit of a smoothness to the vocal sound, taking away a little bit of the edginess and kind of that mid-range build-up. Let's have a listen to it in the context of the mix. So sleep in peace, dreamer, for the best is yet to come. When he's gonna call, wake up sleeper, and you're gonna shine like the rising sun. So overall, this is a really nice sounding EQ and you can hear with just a couple little moves, we're able to transform this mix and make it sound a whole lot better pretty easily. And the real magic is playing with the shape of the bands, narrowing those cues, widening them out, gives you a really wide range of tones that you can create with this EQ. So if you think this sounds cool and you wanna test it out for yourself, there's a link in the description below, head over to Trident Audio's website, grab a seven day free trial and test it out for yourself.
And make sure you check out the special exclusive discount in the description below. You can grab the complete bundle of Trident Audio plugins for a very special price. So definitely worth checking that out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support this channel, check out the link in the description below to my website. Go grab yourself a sample pack or a mixing course. Grabbing any of that stuff is a massive support. And if you're keen to check out another one of Trident's awesome plugins, then check out this next video coming up.